Hello and welcome to Hot Topics Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about how to build connection through your social networking kingdom. Um, I know that many of you started using social media for your businesses or for talking to your students. However, I'm not sure that uh, many of us are still very comfortable with that. So it is a different form um, of building relationship online than in a face-to-face -face environment. And that's why I totally understand how uncomfortable and actually alien it, it might feel. So today I'm going to talk about five C's that might help you uh, build connections through your social networking sites. C number one, short. Sure. There are very many social networking sites that are available. Besides the common uh, five, you know, Google+, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, so you, um, I think that what's important is to figure out where your customers and students are, who they are, and then find the appropriate social network so that would match with your customer. And uh, below this post, I actually provided a list of many sites with a brief description of them. So maybe you can find something that uh, is actually surprising for you and it would work much better than the common quintet. C number two, care. And I cannot stress out care uh, enough. That's why I put this, uh, I don't even want to talk about content right now. I think that showing care is the number one uh, factor that will make you uh, connected to people or disconnected to people. Very often, I see even from people, some people that I follow, that they act you know, is they're a really true celebrity, but it's really not a good strategy for connections. Oh, come on, seriously. Just because they call it a fan page, don't treat your customers and your students and your followers as your fans. So there is no need to have this distance between you and try to create fame this way. It really doesn't work for connections. C3, collaboration. Our world is increasingly collaborative and people always seek connection and interaction with each other. They expect to play, to learn, to socialize together. So whatever you post, um, you know, whatever content you post, it needs to be not just going one way direction from you to your reader. It should involve and engage your readers and somehow create a form of collaborative thinking. C number four, curation. Well, entering the world of social media is kind of dangerous. You might drown in the sea, in the ocean of information. So there are very important tools that allow you to sort things out and remain organized. For example, you can use free social media dashboards like Hotsuit and uh, Twitter Deck to uh, actually include multiple social media sites and separate them you will be able to consume, curate, and contribute your information in an organized manner. Another really good tool is the social bookmarking called Digo. Uh, it allows you to link it to your Twitter account and also bookmark any page and take notes. C number five, customization. For example, you have several social media networks. Do you post the same thing everywhere? I'm not sure it's the best strategy because I think that you know different sites attract different types of people. Uh, and it's also a nice way to show your multi-dimensional persona to your readers. So for example, on Twitter, I am uh, more in a role of a researcher that uses somebody else's work to uh, you know, comment on it or share it with my audience. On Facebook, uh, you can see a mixture uh, of my research side, but also my very personal side. And you can see my pictures from uh, different events that I attend and um, uh, things like that. So it's a more personal feel. 
Uh, on LinkedIn, I'm more uh, about my professional connections in my industry, and uh, I use it more to collaborate with, um, you know, professionals in my field. In my blog, um, I uh, show a role of the expert. Uh, in my particular area, uh, which is connections online and transcendent distances. But even on one social media site, for example, let's take Facebook, uh, I still think that you need to customize your message to different types of audience that can follow you. I would combine it with uh, um, you know, research links, with the articles, with your status updates, with photos, uh, videos, etc. So there are tons more ways to build connections online and I would like for you to share your strategies on how do you build connections in your social network. If you like this video, please click like and share it with, with your friends and colleagues. And uh, if you're not on my list yet, come on over and get uh, free updates and also a free little present. Um, and have a wonderful day and conquer that distance.